Whoa, look who it is. We've got some groovy first graders. Are you cool cats ready for some far out phonics? Let's go. Okay, first thing we're going to do is practice our vowels. First, let's say them. Every vowel makes at least two sounds. The first sound we'll talk about is a short sound. If your vowel makes a short sound, you code it with a lichen. Vowels can also make a long sound. If your vowel makes a long sound, we code it with a lichen. Let's move on to talk about some digraphs. Digraphs are when two letters come together to make one sound, and we code them by drawing a line under them. The first one we'll look at is, and the sound it makes is, like in. What's this? And the sound it makes is, like in. What's this? And the sound it makes is like in. What's this? And the sound it makes only at the beginning is like in. What's this? And the sound it makes only at the end is like in. Now we have, it actually makes two sounds. It has a voice sound, which says like in. It also has an unvoiced sound, which is like in. Speaking of consonants that make two sounds, let's talk about the letter S. It's not a digraph, but it sure is tricky. S has a voiced and unvoiced sound too. Mostly, you probably know it's unvoiced sound which is lichen, but it also has the voice sound. It's the same sound as the letter Z, which is lichen. And moving on, let's talk about some blends. Blends are when you have two or three consonants that come together and flow like a groovy river. You can still hear each letter's sound, but they bump right into each other, and you rarely split them apart unless you're practicing your phonics. Let's look at some. First, we have, which makes the sounds, like in. Next, which makes the sounds, like in. Then, which makes the sounds like in and which makes the sounds like in then which makes the sounds like in then which makes the sounds like in Let's talk about even more blends. First we have, which makes the sounds like in, then, which makes the sounds like in, next, which makes the sounds like in, 
then, which makes the sounds like in and which makes the sounds like in and which makes the sounds like in then which makes the sounds like in then which makes the sounds like in and last which makes the sounds like in enough of those blends let's talk about suffixes suffixes are a letter or group of letters that come together at the end of a word to change what that word means all we'll talk about right now is suffix s when you have suffix s at the end of a noun it's going to take that noun from one noun into more nouns let's check it out you're going to code a suffix with a moving on let's talk about something that you're going to see a lot of sometimes you're going to see two consonants at the end of a word and both of those consonants are the same exact letter what's up with that all you need to know is that those are called double consonants let's look at some of them here is what you have if you see a double consonant what are you going to do then say it one time like in while I have your attention let's go ahead and talk about our handwriting there's some really tricky letters out there and most of the time they're lowercase let's look at them first I need you to remember that and now with these lowercase letters some letters are tall and they reach for the sky let's say them some letters are small so they start at the fence let's say them some letters even come with their very own shovel which means they dig underground let's say those peace out first grade that's all i've got for you this month catch you later